name is Erica Bannon and I work on the solar power and thermal design of Red Rover. Any thermal design has to satisfy the basic equilibrium condition, which means the amount of heat that we get in has to be rejected out. We get heat in from the ground, we get heat in from the sun, and then we generate heat. And then we've got to dump all that out into space. And once we do that equilibrium equation, we want it to come down to a final temperature that is a working moderate temperature for our components. So our original design, which is right here, it's a 200 to 220 watt system. It's also omnidirectional, meaning you can move in any direction. That's why you have the solar panels on every side. The problem with this is it's much more mass intensive and it can't cool itself as well. It gets very hot. So that's one reason why we switched to this new design. While this design is directional, meaning that we have to drive in certain directions to get our power, all this white space is sort of like the radiator. It cools the solar panels so they can get much more efficient, and it's also much less mass. So with any radiator design, you need to think about all these environmental factors. So you got the heat coming in from the ground, and you got the heat coming in from the sun. If it has a good view of the ground, it'll take in about 80% of the heat load that hits it. So that's why oftentimes you see this angle on the radiators that's pointed up. Our cameras have their own radiator. As you can see here, it's right on that top layer. It's that white area is the radiator. When we're looking at the ground, we want to see our feet and we want to see the horizon. And with that angle, it's 35 degrees, which is conveniently enough around the same angle as our radiator. So it works out to being almost the same type of system. With our solar panels, we hope to make around 120 watts. As you can see with those curved, rounded ends, that's designed so that when you look down on the rover, it's a complete half circle, getting us around 10% extra area on our solar panels, which allow us to radiate much more heat. Because our rover has fixed solar rays and a completely passive thermal system, this makes for the most reliable and lightweight design. 